What's going on YouTube? Jay's Vapes here. Today for review, we're going to be taking a look at this Chris by Big Effin' Deal. Big Effin' Deal, Chris. We're going to talk about it, we're going to vape on it, and I'll give you all my thoughts right after this. <laughs> Everybody. Thank you so much for tuning me today. The video is a little bit late today. Uh, the deal is, I plan on getting some vape mail today. It didn't show up. I thought I'd get that vape mail and open it up with y'all and we just talk about it. it. Didn't show up. So, we're going to do this Aegis review today. I uh, got this one sent to me by my cousin Christy for the purpose of this review. Uh, she's the one that usually builds my coils for me. I don't know if you know it or not. I get a lot of slack for this, but I don't build my own coils. You know, I've never, I've never learned to do it, and every time I've tried to do it, they just didn't come out right. But I'm happy. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I just started building my own coils. Uh, I got my very first one that I built myself in here. It's just a real simple, uh, real simple 23 gauge round wire, uh, eight wraps. It's coming out to uh, 0 0.34. Uh, build. I meant for the ohms to be lower than that. I'm not used to vaping that high. Probably should have done less wraps, maybe only five or six wraps. I went with eight wraps. And like I said, it's real simple. It's real easy to do. I feel like they came out good. It's hitting good. It's smooth. You know, there's no popping. There's no fizzing. There's no spit back. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to keep playing around with it. I'm going to build some more coils here the next day or two. See if I can get them ohms down lower. But like I said, proud of myself. <laughs> it's good, smooth, flavor's good. But I like that warmer, hotter vape. So I want to build them lower ohms. I said 0.34 is okay, but we're going to try something else the next day or two. Let's take a look at this crisp. This is by a brand called Big F and Deal. I found them at breezy.com. Uh, I'll leave links down in the description where y'all go check this out. Also check out the other flavors they have. Uh, I've got three milligram as always. It's a 120 mil bottle. You can get this 120 mil bottle on breezy.com for $19.99. This is a Fruity Pebbles cereal. Uh, I got an Instagram at ESNAX. I don't know how to say that. ESNAX. Very colorful bottle. Pretty similar to Fruity Pebbles. I'm not going to read the whole description of it. You know, like I said, it's just a Fruity Pebbles cereal. I'm going to drip a little bit more on there. Kind of running, kind of running low on juices to review. To be honest, you know, <laughs> uh, usually by now I'd have bought some. You know, I got plenty, plenty of juice, but they've all been reviewed. So I need to go pick up some more juices so I can keep these reviews going. Uh, I already went through my whole Zalman box. I went through that pretty fast. I got, uh, I kind of jump started that one. Uh, started at like the end of May instead of June, even though it was my June box. So kind of running a little bit low right now. We got a couple, couple more to look at uh, coming up. Fruity Pebble cereal on my dead rabbit. I said we're rocking a 0 0.34 build. at 70 watts. Let's give it a hit. So it is definitely Fruity Pebbles. I'm getting a lot more flavor out of this than I was my tank. I had it in my tank the other day. And it was, like I said, a lot more flavor coming out of this. It's definitely Fruity Pebbles. I'm getting a little bit of the milk. Uh, you know, it's just a cereal vape. It's sweet. It's not too sweet. It's pretty mild. Uh, I've had a lot of other cereal vapes that are a lot stronger flavor than this one. It's pretty mild, but it's a good juice. Uh, <clears throat> it's super smooth. Uh, no throat hit. I mean, it's, it's like vaping zero. It's super, super smooth. It's like, like I said, it's like vaping zero nicotine. Uh, had a lot of other stronger flavors. Uh, Cali Steam Crazy Toucan. That's one of my favorite ones. Uh, Rainbow Robe of Atasia. <clears throat> it's pretty good. So like I said, not a bad juice. A little mild in my opinion. Uh, if you like mild vapes, you like stuff that's not too strong, you're probably going to love this. I would prefer the flavor be a little bit stronger coming out of it. 
but that's just my opinion. You know, that's that's the flavors that I like. I like strong, sweet flavors. Not a bad juice, <clears throat> a little bit mild, in my opinion. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. Let me know if y'all might like to see me do a cool build. You know, I'm no expert. You know, I'm just learning. I'm just getting into it. So I really didn't want to put out any videos of me doing cool builds. You know, I don't want somebody to, you know, mess, mess themselves up or, you know, blow up or blow up the mod or something while watching my videos because I'm no expert. You know, but I can show you how I did it. Real simple, real easy. I've watched tons of videos. I've watched people do it. You know, they all told me it was going to be hard. They all told me it was going to be hard to do my cool builds. You know, that the coils weren't going to come out right. It's going to take time. I think I did pretty good. Uh, you know, they, they came out looking good. After I worked out all the hot spots, after I got them firing evenly, like I said, they hit smooth. They hit no no spit bag, no nothing. So, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe tomorrow we'll get that vape mail in. Has a vape mail to look at. Has some more juices to review. So come back tomorrow, guys. We'll have either Aegis Review or that vape mail. Thank y'all so much for tuning in today. Please like, comment, subscribe. This is Jay's Vape. Say remember, people, don't drip and drive.